Hello, dear sewistas. Today, I would like to sew a light, elegant waterfall shirt with you. The pattern is available on our Patty Do Designer. There, you can choose whether the shirt should have sleeves or be sleeveless. Furthermore, you can choose whether you would like the hem with or without a cuff. I will now be sewing the sleeveless version with you. Show you how the waterfall neckline is sewn as well as how the armholes are finished with fabric strips. I will be sewing with my serger machine from Bernina and my normal sewing machine by Pfaff. If you would like more information on these models, then just click on the links below. Here I have already prepared the pattern pieces for the shirt. We have the front part, the back part, a short strip for the back neckline, and a long fabric strip for both armholes. To ensure the waterfall neckline falls nicely, the right fabric choice is essential. Please make sure you only use a light flowing jersey, made for example from viscose or polyester. Only then will the fabric create these nice folds in the neckline. And now we begin. First, we will serge this upper edge on the front piece. So the fabric edge doesn't curl over through the overlock stitch, this model has this little tongue here, which I can now slide forward. So, this is what the surging seam looks like now. If your fabric, as here, is creasing slightly because it was stretched somewhat during the sewing process, then you can easily correct that through ironing. Next, we will sew the neckline in the back, whereby we will not be edging it with a strip this time, but finish it or turn it over with this prepared fabric strip. In order to do so, we now pin it right sides together onto the neckline. And then, we sew it on with the serger machine. Now, in our first step, we have sewn the fabric strip to one side, and in the second step, we now fold it inwards and sew it to the inside. To do so, we fold the seam allowance downwards here and fold the fabric strip inwards around the seam allowance. And then we pin everything in place. The previous seam lies neatly here in the fold line, in this crease. For this, we will now use the normal sewing machine with a jersey needle and sew on the fabric strip with a simple straight stitch, closely to this edge here. The finished back part of the neckline now looks like this on the inside and like this on the outside. Before we now sew together the front and the back parts at the shoulder, we cut these corners on the front piece inwards by about 7 millimeters or a quarter of an inch on each side.
And now we lay the back part and the front part right sides together so that the shoulders meet up here. Then we fold the edge of the front part, this curved one here, downwards so that here too the fabric edges lie together. Whereby this incision here, which we made previously, lies directly on this seam. And then we secure everything with a few clips or pins and sew this seam here with the serger machine. And now I begin with the seam here at the armhole. At the end, I sew directly over this notch so it's nicely sealed with the seam. This is what the first shoulder looks like now, and now we sew the second shoulder in exactly the same way. Both shoulders are now done. Next, we tie up the thread chains and cut them off. And if you now turn the front part, you can here see the beautiful waterfall neckline. Next, we will sew the armholes or the sleeves, respectively. If you have chosen the version with the sleeves, then you can have a look at my sewing video for the shirt live to see how these are sewn on. We will now sew the sleeveless version, and I will show you how to continue with the armholes. And these we will now sew exactly like the back part of the neckline. In doing so, we will turn over the armholes with the fabric strip. To do so, we sew the fabric strip right sides together onto the fabric with the serger machine. The fabric strip was cut longer than necessary, so now I can just cut it off. And then we can, just like on the neckline, fold the fabric strip inwards, pin it in place, and sew it on with the machine. This is what the finished armhole looks like now, and we will proceed just the same on the other side. 
The now remaining steps are the sewing of the side seams and the hem, or respectively the hem cuff. To see how this is done, you can have a look at my women's shirt live. My waterfall top now looks like this on the inside. Last but not least, we can now, on the sleeveless version, turn over the seam allowance of the side seam and secure it with a short seam, so everything is nice and neat here. And with that, we have completed our final seam. And what do you think of my finished waterfall top? I hope you're now in the mood to sew your own and have a lot of fun doing so. You can find more tips and tricks, patterns, and many tutorials on Patty Do. Well then, bye! Until next time!